Hey everybody, it's Dan Martin. Today's video is gonna be on a concept that I call drivers, and in particular, kind of how our eyes drive motion, and how that actually makes hitting a golf ball more difficult. You actually have to learn how to drive your golf swing or put your eyes in a different spot. So let me explain a little bit. Like most things that we do, let's say that I wanted to pick that golf club off of the ground, my eyes drive the motion. So I look and then I move and then I go ahead and do whatever task I want to do. Okay, If I want to put this back in the bag, same thing. My eyes look and then I move. I, I don't tend to do things without moving my eyes to the object first. Now, why is that a problem in a golf swing? Well, when you set up to a golf ball, if your eyes are going to drive the motion and, you're, and, you're, and your total focus is here is not on the motion but actually on hitting the ball, your eyes start to do things that will actually change the order of motion of your golf swing. And I'm going to really link this to the, the, you know, the most, probably the most common problem in golf, which is an over-the-top kind of casting movement. So what happens when a player sets up to the golf ball is they're, now their intent is to hit. They've kind of gotten away from swinging. They're looking at the golf ball. And then they're, as they get up to the top, their eyes tend to drive the movement. Okay? So it either A, hinders your backswing, so I don't ever, ever let myself get into a good spot, but B, more common, as a player gets a little bit more experienced, they're willing to turn back a little farther, but then they start their motion by their eyes craning back. So you can see when my eyes actually pull back to the golf ball, what kind of a movement did that start? Well, it actually pulls, the, my neck pulls my thorax, and all of a sudden my lower body's not leading, my upper body's leading. The golf club's coming over the top, and then I've got to recorrect it. So a golfer has to learn to swing. They've got to learn how to get their eyes to not behave, or to behave, sorry. Um, and the, the kind of concept of keeping your eye on the ball hurts so many people. You cannot physically make a great golf swing with your eyes dead on the golf ball. It hinders my backswing. If I try to keep my eyes square, eventually something will give. I can't turn. To turn and get to a really good swing, you can see my bill of my cap just went from here to there. I can only see the ball out of the corner of my eye. So I've got to be very careful when I get up to the top. Now, if I've got this part of my swing really good now, again, I can't refocus my eye back to the ball as my first move because that starts to throw things out of sequence. Okay? So you have to learn how to trust your motion that the golf club is going to hit the golf ball. And because it is a motion that's repetitive and it's based in physics, as you get better at swinging the club, you don't have time to see the club hit the golf ball anyway. It's just strictly kind of a prediction that happens based on your feel and your kind of proprioception of emotion. So I suggest for everybody, you need to start working on swinging the golf club, working on letting your eyes go, and even practicing keeping your eyes from drifting forward, okay? So in a practice swing, I'll just kind of use my eyes here as the, or as this golf ball as the, as the setup. As I turn back, I want to make sure when I get to the top that I can only see the ball out of my peripheral vision. I'm not trying to crane back to it. And then I want to just go slowly downward. I want to feel like the driver of my swing is actually my lower body. So I kind of start to fall and sit into the ground, but I don't want my neck to move with me. Because again, anytime you move out of order or you move sequencing parts at the same time, you lose something in your golf swing. So I'm going to start my swing by letting my eyes stay down. And then I won't reconnect with the golf ball until much, much later. Okay? So I need to feel like from the top, as I start down, my eyes don't drift to the ball. You could even put something on the ground like a ball behind you and just practice making swings going up to the top and actually keeping your eye on that back part. And that will really help you if you can see from this angle. When I get set up, as I go back, I'm going to kind of let my eyes drift back to that ball. If I keep my low, if I keep my upper, I'm sorry, my eyes on that golf ball back there, my sequencing changes dramatically. If I move my eyes to the other one, whoops, coming over the top now and I got big problems. This is really relevant too to my training aid, the pro. So for those of you who have one, this would be a really cool thing for you to work on and you actually help train your eyes as non-drivers and those of you who don't you should get one so you can actually start to start to get the principle of swinging and understanding that you align momentum in a swing you actually don't drive it or try to make the club club hit the golf ball you transfer momentum but anyways when you practice working with your pro to swing it correctly you have to make a big turn you and the, the object because we try to learn how to keep this straight we have to get our eyes involved. So we start learning how to swing without really paying much attention down here and start to train our brain. Oh yeah, that's what it feels like to swing. And it starts to train you to not move your eyes forward, but to actually feel the swing unfold behind you and then pull you through. And then you simply use our, our uh, impact reminder here to learn how to align that. So once I've got that skill, 
then it just becomes a very predictable movement that happens every single time. So when I go back to my golf club, it's exactly the same thing. Anytime I'm hitting golf balls, I'm gonna have a much better swing once I've trained myself to not try to swing with my eyes as the drivers, but to just really trust when I get back there, everything can just kind of come through and hit the ball really naturally like that. So anyways, in, re in review, you gotta watch out, to make, you gotta train your eyes to not be the drivers of your golf swing, but to learn to let them drift and learn to trust the movement of the golf swing. And one of the best ways to do that is to get my training aid, the pro. All right, if you guys got any questions, post them in the comments and we'll see you all next time.